Your 48 supports two main VPN technologies. The first one is SSL VPN, where you can use the web-based portal or the full tunnel. And the second technology is IPsec. Now, let's assume that you have a remote worker that wishes to connect to the marketing LAN using a remote IPsec and doing so using its Android tablet. Let's look at the configuration steps coming up. All right, so the basic topology is quite simple. We have a web interface where our users would connect through to our marketing LAN. So the very first thing to do is to create a user and a user group. So let's create a user, create new local user. Let's just name it test and assign a password. Next, next, user group. Let's create a new user group. Let's name our user group VPN users. And that's quite okay. And there it is, that's the user group. All right. So we have a user group. In our user group, you have currently have only one user, which is the test user. All right, so the next thing to do, the next logical thing to do is to create the IPsec um, tunnel. Now we can uh, use a custom configuration. This time we will use the uh, predefined templates. One thing that I want you to uh, take a look is that we currently only have one policy. We currently only have one policy, which is the marketing out policy. That is, everyone who is in the marketing line can get out to the internet. We will see that once we finish to configure our remote IPsec, we will have more policies that are already created for us. So let's move to our IPsec wizard. Let's name our um, IPsec remote and let's use the remote access. Now we are using an Android tablet, so we'll use the native device type and Android native. Next, the incoming interface is our WAN interface. We will use a pre-shared key, so our pre-shared key uh, will be configured here. And here we need to assign the user group, which is our VPN users. The local interface is actually the interface that we wish the remote users to connect to and the range. Now, users that will connect to our remote IPsec will be assigned a new IP address. So we need to um, create a range for that IP address. So let's just create the 192.168.1.2 up to 192.168.1.11. All right. And let's assign here the local address. All right. Now, that's it. Now, once you finish that, you will see that you already have the phase one and phase two already being configured with the uh, encryption algorithm and the uh, hash function and the Diffie-Hellman uh, groups, but we also have a new L2TP policy that is already created. So we can actually move to our uh, policy and objects. And here we can see that we have two new remote policies that were created. We can also see in the interfaces that now currently under our WAN interface, we have a new tunnel interface. So let's move to my Android tablet. I'm using a mirror application. Let's move to settings, VPN. And let's, okay, let's choose VPN and let's create a new VPN profile. All right, so the name of the profile of the VPN network will be marketing. The type is L2TP, which is um, using a pre-shared key. The address of my web interface 
is the is ten dot zero dot three dot fifty nine, and now we need to enter our pre shared key. And here we will enter the user that is allowed, the one that we have just configured in the VPN users group. All right, so let's connect. And we're connected.